I know I've said a hundred times that C++ has several dark corners. I'm going to show you a C++ corner. Is it dark? Yeah, probably not, but it's not a corner I'm going to go visit very often. I'm sorry that the language is this way. It's been through several iterations, several committees. It's just evolved, okay? Um, I want you to notice these operators. This, this, the whole reason I had to say friend in the previous video was so that this operator, this binary operator that takes two arguments, that's why we call it binary. It's it's by, it's 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 two two operands, sorry, you know, as I say an operator. Two operands, it takes two operands. Right? The reason why I had to make it a friend is because this this operator is not a member function. Remember if I say uh if I say I don't know, void whatever. Okay, down in here in the scope of this function I can access the private data members of this vector class all I want to because this is a member function. All right, but this operator plus is not a member. It's a non-member function. Well, it just so turns out that binary operators can be member functions as well. In fact, there's several operators that can be member functions. Let me show you how to do this as a member function. And then in the next video, I'll talk about why we, what, why, yeah, we'll talk, we'll talk about the whys, the whats, and what you should do. Okay, so first of all, Let's, uh, let's go to the end here, and I'm just going to comment out this operator. Prove to you that it doesn't exist. But before I comment it, I'm going to copy it. Control-C. Comment it out, and go up here, and let's comment out the declaration as well. And then down here, um, in public, I want it to be public. The operator needs to be public. People need to be able to call, be able to call plus on my vector. I'm going to paste it. All right, and then I'm going to hold down Control and hit KF. All right now, to be a member operator, I have to delete the first operand. The first operand becomes this. Remember that blue keyword that kind of throws you off when you're a brand new programmer? This. The first operand or argument to this function is this. All right. So we still have the right vector, but we don't have the left because the left is now this. So I can literally come in here and hold down the Alt key and drag a box and type THIS with an arrow. All right. And now instead of adding left and right, well, this object is the left. All right. So now I'm adding left plus right or this object's x to the right's x. All right. Let me um let's hit F10. Build this and step into. I'm going to I'm going to F10 over the constructors. We're going to F11. I want to step into the operator plus F11 and you see we come up to this member member operator plus this member function and of course the code is the same so the result we get when we print this out will be identical one plus one two plus three four is four six all right um notice we're returning a vector i i suppose you could return an int if you want to it doesn't make sense for a vector plus a vector to be an int but you can change these return types all you want to this is where operator overloading gets kind of confusing and frustrating is when you start screwing around and making operators do things that don't make sense. All right, just stick with stick with the uh, mainstream stuff. I do want before I end this video though. I have the this arrow thing, but if you ask Jamie King, and this is purely a Jamie King opinion, the this arrow here doesn't buy me anything. I I know a lot of guys, or I don't know a lot of guys, but I know some programmers like to say this arrow, this arrow, and .NET or Java you say this dot, this dot, this dot, but it doesn't buy me anything. The code works fine without it. Okay, so when I say X here, well. You know, the, the typical rules of, of using variables inside of classes, you get x here, and x, the it sees no x, there's no x to find in here. So then it goes, the compiler goes out and finds x out in this scope as well. So the, this arrow doesn't buy me anything. Anyway, code still runs, builds, executes the same, and our output is the same.